Okay, this is my Pixel phone running Android, of course, and this is you, <laughs> and this is my Mac uh, running Apple Photos. What I'm going to do now is take a picture of you guys, and this picture will automatically be transferred to Apple Photos. Oh, I'm recording that screen as well. Here it is. Took two pictures. <laughs> but they are there. And they keep coming. In reality, it is transferring all the pictures and videos. I was also filming you guys, so this is what's happening there. So how did I do this? The first thing you need to know is where the pictures are saved in Android. So we're using this guy here, the Files app. Once you're there, go to Internal Storage, then you'll find the DCIM folder, click there, and finally the Camera folder. This is where the pictures are, okay? And this is what Google Photos reads to save the photos into Google Photos, okay? So what we need to do here now is synchronize this folder with the Android Photos folder I have on my Mac. To do that, I'm using Sync Thing. If you don't know what that is, I suggest you watch this other video. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Sync Thing. You also find the link in the description below. But once you do that, every time you take a picture, that picture will be saved inside this folder, DCIM, and Sync Thing will synchronize that picture with your Mac. And the cool part is Sync Thing is bidirectional. So if I delete a picture on my Mac, it will also be deleted here. If you are a Google Photos user, you remember that from time to time, Google Photos will ask you to delete local files, the files that are inside that DCIM folder. So if, if Think Thing is bidirectional, and if I delete a picture on my Mac, it will be deleted on my Android. I don't need to do that. Google Photos will never ask me to do that. I'll be constantly doing this housekeeping and freeing memory on my phone. Okay, the last part of this solution is how to automatically uh, get the pictures from that folder and send them to uh, Apple Photos. But before that, let me talk a little bit about why I'm doing this. Well, I love my Android. I don't see myself upgrading to an iPhone anytime soon. I was an iPhone user, I guess. The last one was the 6, but I'm still an iPad user, so I know what I can or cannot do in each one of the systems, and I prefer... Uh, I, I just like Android. But I also love the Mac. Uh, I don't see myself using any other system. And I guess making them talk to each other <laughs> is the story of my life. But in this case, it was something very specific. I wanted to have a backup of my pictures in another system. So I already have the pictures on uh, Google Photos, but I wanted them also on my Mac. And I was doing something pretty manual. Every year, uh, for example, we are now in 2024, so now I would go to Google Takeout and download all my 2023 pictures and add them to the Google, uh, the Apple Photos on my Mac. It works, but it's pretty manual, and there's a problem because I'm doing this only once a year. I'm risking losing uh, one year of pictures if something goes wrong with Google Photos. So I wanted to find a more automatic way of doing it, and this is why I came up with this solution. And by the way, uh, I have already written an article about this. You'll find a link in the description below. And there are many articles uh, I've been writing about everything I talk here in the channel. 
they go into more detail, I explain more uh, the specifics of what I do here. And if you want to read them, you can go to my website, to my Medium. If you are a Medium user, I also have a Medium page. And if you want to keep up with everything that I publish, the articles and the videos, you can subscribe to my newsletter. It's a monthly newsletter where I just send you uh, the links to everything I published that month. Okay, last step. I'll be using Automator. That is an app that already comes with your Mac. Don't be afraid of it. It, it, it looks a little scary, but go with me for a moment and you'll see that it's not that hard. So let's open Automator. It will ask you what you want to do. We want to keep an eye on a specific folder, the Android Photos folder, and this is why we will choose a folder action. Now we have to tell Automator which folder we are keeping an eye on. So there it is, the Android Photos folder, okay? Next, we have to tell it to grab the pictures from that folder, the new pictures from that folder, and send them to uh, Apple Photos. So let's type here Photos to make things easier. And let's choose this one here, Import Files into Photos. You can drag it here or double-click it. You can also click here and choose a specific album to send the pictures to. I prefer it like this. And in my case, I have this one here selected. Skip checking for duplicates. I can do this in the future. Uh, I, I don't want to have a step in, 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 that will stop the automation. I just want the pictures to be sent to Google Photos, to Apple Photos. And that's it. All you have to do now is save it. Let's give it a name here, send to photos, and save. So let's take a picture here. And of course, you can always change that automation in the future. Okay, we have to talk about that final part, the automation. There's a little secret here. <laughs> I'm not using that anymore. If you read the article, you know that I first started without the automation. I wanted to make sure that all the pictures were being transferred, copied to the Mac, and also that when I deleted pictures, uh, the pictures on the Mac, they would be deleted automatically on the phone. Everything was working fine. So I moved to the next step, which was adding the automation you just saw. However, I gave up. On that because I don't know about you but I don't always take pictures that I want to keep <laughs> sometimes I would say a lot of times I want to delete those pictures for example if I want to remember where I parked my car I would take pictures of that those numbers the coordinates I don't know what to call that showing where the car is parked that's not a real picture. I'm just trying to remember where I parked the car. And there are many pictures like that that I take. So uh, removing the automation uh, will let me take care of those pictures manually. So I would delete the ones that I don't want on my album, my, my photos album, and move the ones I want. And the purpose of all this was to have an automatic backup. And even if I don't, if I take a long time or don't move the pictures to uh, Apple Photos, I already have the backup inside that folder. I'm moving them to all Apple Folders because it's a convenient way to see the pictures, to interact with the pictures. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's up to you. The automation is there. Maybe you'll use it, maybe not. If this one was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.